good morning. So this video is the first in the series of the final chapter, chapter seven. Um, so after the seven steps of success, the, the final chapter, chapter seven, is all about leadership. So once you've gained a certain amount of success using the principles that we've been speaking about, the next step for you is to is to begin to lead by example, yes, but also to help other people. So a leader by definition is someone that uh, other people are following. So rather than paying paying the gift back, paying paying it forward, paying it forward to others. So the three stages in my um, in in my leadership section in the book uh, are is one is teaching, motivating, and inspiring. So we're going to do three videos, which will cover out the the leadership section, and today is about the teaching. So once you've once you've got a basic understanding, you only need a basic understanding of something to gain great results. Once you've got that basic understanding, that's gonna be enough to give you the results that you're looking for in most cases. But in order to gain a full understanding of, of a subject, in my opinion, you really need to be able to teach it to somebody else. And the reason is that everyone learns differently. So we've talked a little bit about the four, four different personality types, um, the five different love languages, which is the way that different people communicate, that they, they take in the information differently. Therefore, they process things differently. Therefore, they need to be talked to or spoken to or explained things or taught differently. And in order for you to be effective as a teacher or as a leader, then you need to be able to explain it in your understanding, the way you understand it, the way that someone else understands it, the way that Billy Bob understands it, the way that Mary understands it. And by doing, learning those different ways, then you are now creating a much deeper understanding of the subject matter that you're teaching, i.e. have been learning, and it will make a massive difference in your, also for you. It becomes something that you are, somebody you are, something that you do, it's just, it's just way more ingrained. So the, this is a couple of examples. So often with a karate student, um, they'll go off and they'll do another class with another sensei, they come back and they're super excited, They've They've learnt something new, they've got a new understanding, something's clicked for them. And often they'll say um, to me or to another instructor, they'll say something like, um, oh, I've, I've got this. And then I sort of look back at them and say, here, yeah, I've been trying to tell you that for the last three months. But what happened was, is that the other instructor was able to put that certain thing into a different context explain it in a different way and it clicked for that student and that's ultimately what we're looking for we're looking for different ways to be able to explain the same thing which gives us a much deeper understanding of it so this can be really good for people that have gone through the weight loss process so with my 12 kilos in 12 weeks clients that have learned the concepts of losing weight and getting fitter and healthier and have a basic understanding of how it works according to their syntax or their way of learning the best thing to do now is to go for forward and and pay it forward to someone else help somebody else achieve the results that you've just achieved by doing that it's going to make you look at it from a different perspective you're going to have to teach inspire motivate you're going to need to learn more uh, or the same thing in a different way, which is going to be super powerful for you. And more importantly than you just learning it better because you've already got results, it's going to continue on with the motivation because you will find, in my opinion, you'll get more motivation by helping someone else gain the same result that you've gained than you will from having gained it for yourself. It's amazing. In teams, we find that we'll do more for we'll do more for our teammates to to not let them down than we'll do for ourselves, which helps us all perform at a better level. Um, when you achieve something for yourself, it's it's a good feeling. You feel great. You should feel great. It's the first step, but then to help teach someone else and see them get the same results, better results, a result is going to give you more motivation more inspiration for yourself to continue on in your journal journey and continue to lead 
from the front. So the action step from, from what I'm talking about today is to find someone, whatever benefits you have gained from, from life, from the videos that I do, from a book that you've read, from my book, from any aspect of life, whatever the benefits are, be aware and open to finding someone that could that would like to or wants to get the same benefits that you've got. Now, want and need are two different things. So if you've just lost a stack of weight, for example, um, it's quite easy to find people that need your help. There's loads of people out there that are overweight, obese, unhealthy. Um, however, you're not looking for the people that need it, you're looking for the people that want it. So be open to those keys because you can have the best information in the world, but if people only need it and don't not necessarily want it, then you'll be beating your head against the wall. And this is a hard lesson to, to come to grips with for people that love helping people, want to help people. You've got to learn who to spend your time with. If you've got multiple people to help, you've got to spend the time with the 20% that are really going to take what you've got and run with it because otherwise yeah you, you're not going to be motivated you're not going to be inspired personally as a teacher you're going to be like hitting your head against the wall um, okay so that's a little provide so the action step is find someone who wants the results that you've got and find a way to help them get them firstly by teaching and then the next couple of videos will talk about motivating people and then third step is to inspire people rather than motivate them and that's where it really starts to get exciting. So whatever you've taken from what you've been learning, what you've, how you've been growing, your life experiences, how can you pass that forward? How can you continue that legacy and make the world a little bit better? Help someone, help someone. Have a great day and um, it looks like the weather today is just phenomenal. It's a bit bright out there, you can't really see it. Wow totally blessed. See you soon.